I've always been um, passionate about and simultaneously upset about, <laughs> you know, they say you can choose your friends and you can't choose your family. I say no. I say it's wrong. I say you can choose your family. You have your biological family, but I've taken friends of mine that are not biologically related to me, and I have surrogate aunts, I have surrogate uncles, I have godparents, I have surrogate grandparents. My children, both of their grandfathers are dead. My father died when I was a child, so my, ki my kids have never known my father. And my wife, China's father, died after my first was born. And we have surrogate grandfathers that have come in, and I think it's really important to, if you want to tell, uh, you know, a cutting-edge drama about, about what it means to be a family today, to include all of the love, all of the joy, all of the dysfunction, all of the brawling, and, and, and the reality, some of the hard-hitting stuff of what kids are going through today, what families are going through today. I've been going through it in the last 36 hours dealing with, you know, I've got three children back at home. I just was in Romania doing a film. I flew in from, from Bucharest to New Orleans to do a series that I'm working on. I worked until 2 in the morning and went straight to the airport and caught a 5.30 to come here to be with you guys right now. I literally slept an hour. And all through the night I was dealing with, uh, you know, putting out fires with some stuff with my children academically and my daughter's leaving for college and my, you know, making sure everybody's, you know, tying up all the loose ends before the school year ends and, and academically all their teachers officially, technically the school year ends at three o'clock this Friday and my kids are barely going to get in under the wire, barely, you know.